Well, this study is um, came actually from a patient I saw, and uh, it was a patient that had a very severe stroke, so M1 occlusion, very severe uh, stroke scale, NHSS 19. The next day he was better because we performed thrombectomy and uh, he was actually doing fine. And I asked him several times and his wife also if he ever experienced stroke symptoms and he clearly declined. So he never had any prior stroke symptoms, but on the imaging uh, and we use admission MRI, you already saw that he has three chronic um, post ischemic lesions and um, they were located in areas that are thought to be non-eloquent. So they are like the frontal lobe. It does not have the immediate function. So it is makes sense that the patient never experienced symptoms. And I was wondering whether there's anything in the literature if those patients actually have a different etiology as compared to the same patient with an M1 occlusion, but uh, without any post ischemic additional lesions. And um, from this, starting from this patient, um, we looked into this in our imaging database. And this is where the project really started. Well, the main points, I think is that we um, found a pathophysiological plausible association of, for example, if you find additional chronic cortical lesions uh, with uh, cardioembolism and large artery stenosis. And uh, I think that we can use those additional chronic lesions to actually uh, maybe improve our um, etiological workup. For example, do prolonged rhythm monitoring in patients that have several cortical lesions. You know that there's certain criteria where we should perform uh, increased uh, rhythm monitoring. For example, if you have a dilated left atrium in the echo or if there's an elevated uh, BNP, for example. And I think that we we could use additional chronic uh, cortical lesions uh, potentially as a, as a novel biomarker. And the advantage is that the imaging is available anyway. So you always have uh, the imaging available and you don't need any additional lab values, for example, if um, this is confirmed.